Richard H. Toller, born September 12, 1945, is an American economist and the Charles R. Walgreen Distinguished Service Professor of Behavioral Science and Economics at the University of Chicago Booth School of Business. In 2015, Toller was president of the American Economic Association. He is a theorist in behavioral economics and collaborated with Daniel Kahneman, Amos Tversky, and others in further defining that field. In 2018, he was elected a member in the National Academy of Sciences. In 2017, he was awarded the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences for his contributions to behavioral economics. In its Nobel Prize announcement, the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences said that his "...contributions have built a bridge between the economic and psychological analyses of individual decision-making." His empirical findings and theoretical insights have been instrumental in creating the new and rapidly expanding field of behavioral economics. Topic: Personal life. Toller was born in East Orange, New Jersey. His mother, Rosalind Melnikoff, 1921 to 2008, was a teacher and later a real estate agent, while his father, Alan Maurice Toller, 1917 to 2004, was an actuary at the Prudential Financial in Newark, New Jersey, and was born in Toronto. He grew up with two younger brothers. His great-great-grandfather, Selig Toller, 1831 to 1903, was from Berezany, Ukraine. He is married to France Leclerc, a former marketing professor at the University of Chicago and avid photographer. He has three children from his first marriage. Topic. Education He graduated from Newark Academy, before going on to receive his BA degree in 1967 from Case Western Reserve University, and his MA in 1970 and PhD degree in 1974 from the University of Rochester, writing his thesis on The Value of Saving a Life, a Market Estimate, under the supervision of Sherwin Rosen. Topic. Academic career After completing his studies, Toller began his career as a professor at the University of Rochester. Between 1977 and 1978, Toller spent a year at Stanford University collaborating and researching with Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky, who provided him with the theoretical framework to fit many of the economic anomalies that he had identified, such as the endowment effect. From 1978 to 1995, he was a faculty member at the S.C. Johnson College of Business at Cornell University. After gathering some attention with a regular column in the respected Journal of Economic Perspectives which ran between 1987 and 1990 and the publication of these columns by Princeton University Press in 1992, Toller was offered a position at the University of Chicago's Booth School of Business in 1995, where he has taught ever since. Writings Books. Toller has written a number of books intended for a lay reader on the subject of behavioral economics, including Quasi-Rational Economics and The Winner's Curse, the latter of which contains many of his anomalies columns revised and adapted for a popular audience. One of his recurring themes is that market-based approaches are incomplete, he is quoted as saying, "...conventional economics assumes that people are highly rational—super-rational and unemotional." They can calculate like a computer and have no self-control problems. Toller is co-author, with Cass Sunstein, of Nudge, Improving Decisions About Health, Wealth, and Happiness Yale University Press, 2008. Nudge discusses how public and private organizations can help people make better choices in their daily lives. People often make poor choices and look back at them with bafflement. Toller and Sunstein write. We do this because as human beings, we all are susceptible to a wide array of routine biases that can lead to an equally wide array of embarrassing blunders in education, personal finance, health care, mortgages and credit cards, happiness, and even the planet itself." Toller and his co-author coined the term choice architect. In 2015 Toller wrote Misbehaving, The Making of Behavioral Economics, A History of the Development of Behavioral Economics. Part memoir, part attack on a breed of economist who dominated the academy. 
particularly, the Chicago school that dominated economic theory at the University of Chicago for the much of the latter part of the 20th century. Other writings Toller gained some attention in the field of mainstream economics for publishing a regular column in the Journal of Economic Perspectives from 1987 to 1990 titled Anomalies, in which he documented individual instances of economic behavior that seemed to violate traditional microeconomic theory. In a 2008 paper, Toller and colleagues analyzed the choices of contestants appearing in the popular TV game show Deal or No Deal and found support for behavioralists' claims of path dependent risk attitudes. He has also studied cooperation and bargaining in the UK game shows Golden Balls and Divided. As a columnist for the New York Times News Service, Toller has begun a series of economic solutions for some of America's financial woes, beginning with, Selling parts of the radio spectrum could help pair U.S. deficit. With references to Thomas Hazlitt's ideas for reform of the U.S. Federal Communications Commission FCC and making television broadcast frequency available for improving wireless technology, reducing costs, and generating revenue for the U.S. government. Topic. Nobel Prize Toller was the 2017 recipient of the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economics for incorporate ing, psychologically realistic assumptions into analyses of economic decision-making. By exploring the consequences of limited rationality, social preferences, and lack of self-control, he has shown how these human traits systematically affect individual decisions as well as market outcomes. Immediately following the announcement of the 2017 prize, Professor Peter Gardenfers, member of the Economic Sciences Prize Committee, said in an interview that Toller had made economics more human. After learning that he had won the Nobel Prize, Toller said that his most important contribution to economics was the recognition that economic agents are human, and that economic models have to incorporate that. In a nod to the sometimes unreasonable behavior he has studied so extensively, he also joked that he intended to spend the prize money as irrationally as possible. Paul Krugman, the 2008 winner of the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economics, tweeted, Yes, behavioral econ is the best thing to happen to the field in generations, and Toller showed the way. However, Thaler's selection was not met with universal acclaim. Robert Schiller, one of the 2013 laureates, noted that some economists still view Thaler's incorporation of a psychological perspective within an economics framework as a dubious proposition. And an article in The Economist simultaneously praised Toller and his fellow behavioral colleagues while bemoaning the practical difficulties that have resulted from causing economists as a whole to back away a bit from grand theorizing and to focus more on empirical work and specific policy questions. In chronicling Thaler's path to Nobel laureate, John Cassidy notes that although Thaler's nudge theory may not overcome every shortcoming of traditional economics, it has at least grappled with them in ways that have yielded important insights in areas ranging from finance to international development. Topic behavioral finance and other applications in policy Toller also is the founder of an asset management firm, Fuller & Toller Asset Management, which believes that investors will capitalize on cognitive biases such as the endowment effect, loss aversion and status quo bias. Since 1999, he has been the principal of the said firm, which he co-founded in 1993. Russell Fuller, in charge of the firm's daily operations, said Toller has changed the economics profession in that, he doesn't write papers that are full of math. He writes papers that are full of common sense. Since 1991, Toller is also the co director of the National Bureau of Economic Research Behavioral Economics Project. Toller was also involved in the establishment of the Behavioral Insights Team, originally part of the British government's cabinet office but is now a limited company. Toller made a cameo appearance as himself in the 2015 movie The Big Short, which was about the credit and housing bubble collapse that led to the 2008 global financial crisis. During one of the film's expository scenes he helped pop star Selena Gomez explain the hot hand fallacy, in which people think that whatever is happening now will continue to happen into the future. Topic publications Topic Books Toller, Richard H. 1992. The Winner's Curse, Paradoxes and Anomalies of Economic Life. Princeton, Princeton University Press. ISBN 0-691-01934-7. 
Taller, Richard H. 1993. Advances in Behavioral Finance. New York, Russell Sage Foundation. ISBN 0-87154-844-5. Taller, Richard H. 1994. Quasi-Rational Economics. New York, Russell Sage Foundation. ISBN 0-87154-847-X. Taller, Richard H. 2005. Advances in Behavioral Finance, Volume 2 Roundtable Series in Behavioral Economics. Princeton, Princeton University Press. ISBN 0-691-12175-3. Taller, Richard H., and Cass Sunstein. 2009 Updated Edition. Nudge, Improving Decisions About Health, Wealth, and Happiness. New York, Penguin. ISBN 0-14311526-X. Taller, Richard H. 2015. Misbehaving, The Making of Behavioral Economics. New York, W. W. Norton & Company. ISBN 978-0-393-08094-0. Topic references Topic External links Curriculum Vitae Faculty Home Page at U of Chicago Article, Deal or No Deal Nudge Web Page Misbehaving Book Web Page and Blog Roberts, Russ November 6, 2006. Richard Toller on Libertarian Paternalism. EconTalk. Library of Economics and Liberty. IMDb Profile Richard Toller Publications Indexed by Google Scholar Richard Toller. EconPapers. Richard Toller. JSTOR.